this evening again where the temperatures will <laughs> likely be in the 70s at 9 o'clock. Sky should be partly cloudy this evening, and uh, again, the winds are fairly light. Turn it around to the southeast for a direction. There is live Super Doppler 7 radar. Not a thing. Again, quiet in our local area, even though we had some clouds move through. There was a shower out here between Hastings and Blue Hill, and now gone. As we've got dry air in place, so there was a little upper level disturbance moving across Nebraska last night and this morning. Did create a few showers and thunder showers in central Nebraska. These have fallen apart. Remember, the air over eastern Nebraska and into Iowa is pretty dry, so just some mid level clouds. The bigger hole in the clouds with more sunshine in southeast Nebraska. Temperatures a few degrees warmer there. But everybody, pleasant conditions through the afternoon. So this is moving by. Then there's a break. Now there's another disturbance out here over the Rockies. That one. Looks like it'll push a front into Nebraska on Friday and maybe touch off storms for us on Friday evening and Friday night. Here's a live check with our SkyCam network. That is beautiful. That's looking northeast from the Embassy Suites downtown. And this is the Heartland of America Park down here. And look at that picture perfect sky, partly cloudy conditions. Our hourly planner has us holding near 80 at 7, 75 at 9, 72 at 11 o'clock, and then another night where maybe you can scoop by without the air conditioning as temperatures drop back into the 60s. It'll be a little bit more humid tomorrow and then hot and humid on Friday. 81, dew point 61. There's an east breeze at 13 miles an hour. It all feels pretty good. And most of the temperatures are in the low 80s. Western Iowa, mostly upper 70s. And those dew points have cli climbed just a little bit into the low 60s. They were in the 50s earlier today and they were down in the 50s and even a few upper 40s yesterday. Why it felt so comfortable. Here's our storm predictor. This evening, skies partly cloudy. Overnight tonight, partly cloudy. Here's 8 a.m. tomorrow. A little more of a southeast breeze. These are the isobars, lines of equal pressure. When they start getting closer together, it tells you there's a pressure difference, which creates the wind. Here's 430. We're dry. Maybe a little thunderstorm around North Platte. That should tend to drop southeastward. I don't think it'll make it to our area for tomorrow night. But then there's a front coming in. This is that one that I talked about in the satellite pictures in Friday afternoon. Could trigger a few showers and thunderstorms out here in central Nebraska. That may or may not happen there in the southwest Iowa, but at least a chance of storms coming in for Friday night. 66 tonight, partly to mostly cloudy skies. A mild start tomorrow, 70 at 8 a.m. A little bit warmer, it's slightly more humid, 86 at 4 in the afternoon. The next three days continue the heating trend up to 94 on Friday. We should have a good amount of sunshine, but late in the day and then Friday night, some showers and thunderstorms. Saturday also, a chance of showers and thunderstorms in the evening and overnight Saturday night. Sunday, Monday, still pretty warm or hot and humid, depending on how you like it. And then another front, maybe a few showers or thunderstorms on Tuesday. Kind of a nice 